Right, so this is actually the day before I start the Camino. I've uh, come to buy the shell that you've got on your bag. These walls are disappearing, and I don't seem to care. Long year. It is 6.50 on a very brisk Wednesday morning in Porto. I'm just walking from the hostel that I was staying at yesterday. And I'm walking to the cathedral now to officially start the Camino. So here I'm sat just outside the cathedral. And uh, luckily, I got my credentials yesterday. Which means that, um, I don't have to wait for the cathedral to open. In this place I have freedom. Here I wish to stay. Thoughts become distant feelings. I'm going with the flow. I'll just sit still now and begin by letting go. First place to get my credential stamped. So here we go. Really beautiful, dramatic kind of coastline, really massive waves. Um, and like, it's an hour into the walk, a bit slower than yesterday, and the bacon has just start to set in, so I'm fine. But let me tell you, that first hour in the morning, oh my god, it's so excruciating. Final home straight to Camino. Um, really, really nice when you get closer to it. There's loads of yellow arrows pointing the way. So there's one Albergue in Camino, so I've really pushed on ahead to try and make sure I secure a spot there because you can't make reservations. To give you an idea of how I have to start walking every morning, limping my way for the first hour or so. But a beautiful morning today. Got myself this amazing bitchin new hat.
today, starting the latest I've ever started, 10 o'clock, and I haven't really rested properly, so um, because I haven't been able to. And today does represent the shortest part of the trip, so I'm only going to do about 17, 18 kilometers today to Oparino. I've made a new decision not to do another 30 kilometer day because I'm just not, I'm just not resting enough. You have to walk this thing at your own pace and you have to listen to your own body. And that might mean a couple of things. That might mean at times you have to leave people behind. And it also might mean that you have to um, let people go ahead of you. Good morning. So I am just about five kilometers out of Oparino. It's my slowest day and my shortest day. Underneath my heels, I've now got two cuts at the bottom of the blisters that I've made. So, that's what's been causing me this pain. Today, I'm gonna walk, try to walk past Redondella. There's a lot of hill climbing in this whole kind of uh, section of the Camino. So I'm looking forward to the change in altitude and, and I'm looking forward to the scenery as well. So this has become a bit of a running theme where I'm the only one left in the, the Alberghe. Here I am, I made it to Ponte Vedra. It's a nice cool little city to be honest, like loads of cool places to check out, loads of different um, choices for food and stuff. And so for the next four days it's going to be 39 degrees. So the plan is today, time myself out, eat loads of nice food and make sure I get to bed early so I can wake up tomorrow really early and get most of the walking done to Caldas de Reyes before the sun comes out and starts beating down on me. So here I am by the river in Caldas de Reyes, two days out from arriving in Santiago. So yeah, it's one of the nicest places I've been to so far. As you can see, there's a lot of old architecture behind me. My feet have healed so much better over the next couple of days from walking significantly less. Penultimate day today. I'm just walking from Caldas de Reyes to uh, Padron. It's a short walk today, I think it's about 18, 19 kilometers. I've already got the accommodation booked, so uh, no real rush other than today is going to be about 40 degrees. It's before 10 o'clock and I've already done half of the walk. Nice kind of scenery, and a lot of wooded area, so it's nice and shaded anyway. A lot of this is hill, it's up and down today, so uh, you know, just bear that in mind. Well, it's the last day. Walking to Santiago now. A bit relieved to get it complete. Made it to Santiago. I'm just walking to the cathedral now. I'm a couple of kilometers away, and it is almost unbearable now. The heat is crazy, and uh, it's just so energy capping. So, how am I going to feel when I finish? Relieved. Relieved. Yeah, it's been a tough little stretch, but fast forward 20 minutes, it should be there. I actually did it. I actually made it. I'm so glad. There's one hefty line that I think I'm going to wear. Uh, come back later to sit in to get my stamp. First things first I need absolutely ice cold to get my water. Whew. Done. 